couple of splits I made this year. This one on the right needs a smaller entrance. That's a huge, huge entrance. It's not so bad right now. The weather's warm. But uh, they really should have a reduced entrance anyway for security. The one on the left, they're starting to hang out the door a little bit. I don't think that's because of overpopulation. Today is an extremely uh, humid day. It's not particularly warm, it's uh, only about 25 degrees. But the humidity is unreal. It's uh, closing in on 80% humidity out here. It's not even sunny and uh, it's very uncomfortable. I'll take it over 40 below though. So this one had a mated queen introduced recently. You can see the Jay-Z BZ cage there. And I'll have to check that for laying here pretty soon. Once I do then I'll bolster that with some brood, move it up to 10 frames and the honey box if they are so inclined. I think they are because they're probably full of honey right now. My first year using the mini mating nukes and I really like them. I don't have a very good marking system yet. So in here I put one pin on the end of that box and the entrance is open so that tells me uh, that tells me that there's a a cell or an emerged virgin in there so I don't want to bother that too much this one here I have two pins and I also have a queen excluder entrance and that tells me there's a mated queen in there so here we have one that's showing a little bit of activity it's got no pins but it's got an open entrance so that tells me that there's uh, you know there's a little colony in there that could be brewed from uh, a queen that I took out and that is why I'm visiting here today because these little nukes like any hive can't stay queenless long they start to have troubles laying worker troubles so what I have here is I have some temp queen, it's QMP, queen mandibular pheromone. I've hot glued the little sticks to some wood just to make them easier to handle. If I were to set that little stick inside it would go straight to the bottom and then that would be a pain to fish out later. Let's see what's in here. I have no PPE on at all. They're, they're usually pretty gentle. So, we can see a little cluster of bees. And we're doing this one-handed with no gloves. So what do we have in here? We have larvae, so we've had a laying queen in here. But I would doubt I'm going to see any eggs. So again, I'll just take a quick check here to make sure I'm not going to set a pheromone strip in a hive that has a queen. So there's some larvae there. Man, they sure feed them. Oh, they're just swimming in jelly. Swimming in jelly. I had one of my minis uh, well, more than one, but I have one right now. Has uh, actually has a really nice queen cell going. So I decided I'm just going to let it emerge. We'll see what happens. So this pheromone strip, I don't know if they're attracted to it. Maybe they are. Oops. Let's take a look at that. I'm rubbing it. that and rubbing it on her face and her mandibles. Okay, it's, uh, it doesn't matter how I put in here, but me being who I am, set that 
in there like that. And close them up. So I have a few here to take care of this way. Uh, just so that the, just to hold them down uh, so they don't start getting the idea that the workers should start to lay eggs. So here's another one here. So, <laughs> not really. Look at this. I think I'll just uh, take these out. It's not really much of a colony. They've got nothing going for them. So, I'll just disband this and move on. So there you go, queen mandibular pheromone. I think you can buy them at Man Lake. I've had it quite a while. And I keep it in the freezer. Hopefully it's uh, still good. It, I've had it for, boy, I've had it for years. Three or four years probably. Anyway, have a fun and stay safe and have a good day.